one thing I didn't think I was going to need living in Dubai is wellies. I mean, you know, streets are flooded, water everywhere, dramatic scenes after torrential storms hit not only the UAE, but also the entire region. I mean, you talked about how Dubai International has been impacted. All departing flights from Dubai have now been cancelled until midnight on Wednesday. Um, which is pretty significant given the fact that most people can't get to the airport. You've got scenes like this, you know, flooded streets and specifically the main artery feeding into Dubai International completely shut down. We've got some of those images and you see cars submerged, people trying to get out. Um, frankly, people rallying together uh, to try and assist each other. It's something that we haven't seen before. 254 millimeters of rain hitting parts of the UAE. That is the highest that's ever been recorded since data began uh, around 75 years ago. But this is also a regional issue. When we look at what happened in Oman, at least 17 people have lost their lives. Now, it is unclear whether people have lost their lives in the UAE. That data is still being collected. But this is the day after these dramatic storms. It is a sunny day, which is good news. But the cleanup begins. Um, and you're seeing people working from home. Schools have been shut down uh, as well. Uh, and, and frankly, homes and infrastructure have been impacted. You know, me being at home yesterday, we had flooding in our house. We also had electricity outages. Our entire, um, you know, region section that we, we stay has been impacted and you've got incredible flooding. Now, one thing you've got to remember, this is a desert landscape. The soil is very different. It doesn't absorb as quickly. And also the infrastructure is not geared to handle this kind of rain. Um, there aren't enough uh, drainage systems. Most of that that does exist basically blocked by sand me getting to the office today took me around 45 minutes where it usually would take 15 minutes it's eerily quiet um, and from what we understand hopefully the worst is over but of course the impact on the uh, airport has been I think one of the most dramatic things we've heard where people were stranded they weren't able to leave the people that had arrived from what we understand the connecting flights are still pretty much operational but anyone wanting to leave Dubai or the UAE from Dubai International that has been halted.